Good evening and welcome. So last week I took a trip out to That's Entertainment Pop Culture Emporium in Worcester, Massachusetts. This store is the coolest. Comic books, video games, toys, records, cards, movies. I mean, it's got everything. You can spend all day looking around that place. One thing they have that I love to check out is records. And lately I've been really getting into 45s. And uh, so I was dipping into their 45 collection. I found a few a few nice ones. We got the uh, Through the Wire, Shaka Khan. Speed it up to 78. We'll get that Kanye West sample. Uh, and Emotion for that 80s dance party. Obsession. Had to get this one for the dance party. Olivia Newton-John, John Travolta. You're the one that I want from Greece. And I couldn't resist this one. This one's my jam. The Metro by Berlin. I remember that back in my old Man Ray days. <laughs> but what they did have there, uh, they had these little mystery packs of 45s. And so I bought one and uh, I opened it up when I got home. All you could see is on the outside of the, of the packs. So on one side, it had Journey, uh, Separate Ways, with the B-side of Frontiers, which is a jam. Uh, and so I knew it had at least one good one, and I think uh, there was a Bob Seger song that was not one of my favorites, but is on uh, was on the other side. So I brought it home, opened it up. I was number one surprised with how many records were in this. Uh, there was, I think, 24 or 25 records crammed into this, and, uh, and it was a great price, too. Uh, but I can't believe how many great records were in here so let's see found uh boss gags lowdown lido shuffle two jams on that the harlem globetrotters sweet georgia brown now, come on got uh peter gabriel shock the monkey come on judas priest you got another thing coming with the b-side of diamonds and rust come on now uh, the OJ's Love Train, digging it back. Oh, here we go. Devo, Whip It. Man. Cool in the Gang, Too Hot. Too Hot. Uh, Janet Jackson, The Magic is Working, and Young Love. I wasn't familiar with this record. Uh, this is some early stuff of hers, and it sounds kind of off the wall era Michael. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, kind of disco y. It was good. And uh, there's a couple other good ones in there, but I was surprised with how many great ones were in there. So I went back again this week, and I may have gotten a few more. So I can't resist, because I mean, the price is just amazing. And I love a mystery pack. So I went and I got six of these guys, and I'm dying to open them. So I decided to do this video so I can open them and uh, show you what I got. So... Let's see, this one's got Hill Street Blues and Phil Collins, You Can't Hurry Love. Got Air Supply, The One That You Love. And then Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Refugee. That's a jam. In Excess, I don't know what the song it is, but you know, they had a bunch of great songs. It's gotta be one of the good ones. And come on now, Staying Alive, Bee Gees. Need that for my dance party. John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> John Cougar Mellencamp. Crumbling Down. And Rick Springfield. I don't know this one. A Billy Squire with the stroke. And Michael Jackson, She's Out of My Life, off, off the wall. And then finally, Stevie Nicks, Stand Back. And the call, Martin Romans. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. This one feels a little lighter than the other ones. So. Looks a little bit smaller too. So, which one should I open? Right, I tell you, I'm very excited to open one of them. I've been sitting in my room for in my office for a couple days. I think I'm going with Air Supply and Tom Petty. into this here. If 
still cutting the records. We'll see what we got in our little mystery pack there. All right. So first up, we got Tom Petty, Refugee. B-side with, it's raining again. Not familiar with that one. Well, these are very dusty. The Beach Boys, a little Honda. It's very scratched up. Oh, and Barbara Ann, that looks like, might be okay. All right. But Alabama, see the embers, feel the flame, and feel so right. I guess I'm not too familiar with Alabama. You know, Billy and the Beaters, corner of the night, and I can take care of myself. <laughs> Billy and the Beaters, I can take care of myself. <laughs> uh, what's this? Stevie Wonder, if it's magic, and lately, Oh, no way. This came right out of a uh, jukebox. Come on now. Oh, how cool is that? All right. Straight out the jukebox. We got the little slip and everything. That's cool. Dion Warwick, I smiled yesterday. And don't make me over. Not familiar with either of those. Rolling Stones. All right. Send it to me. And she's so cold. But I'm so hot for her, but she's so cold. That's a jam. All right. All right. Tommy James, Halfway to Heaven. And You're So Easy to Love. I'm not familiar with that one. Ray Parker Jr. and Radio, So Into You. And A Woman Needs Love, Just Like You Do. Not familiar with those, but I know Ray, Ray Parker Jr. is pretty funky. He's got some funky stuff, more, more than just Ghostbusters. So that'll be interesting to check out. Oh, this one's got a uh, jukebox slip in it, too. John Cougar, make me feel, and ain't even done with the night. Ain't even done with the night with the little jukebox slip. Boom. Oh, that's really neat. I like that. Lover Boy, Prissy Prissy, and Turn Me Loose. That is the jam. Turn Me Loose. Jam. We got Shaka Khan. Here we go. Lover's Touch. And What You Gonna Do For Me. Not familiar with those, but she's a pretty funky woman. I bet you it's pretty, bet you it's okay. Worth checking out. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, Make It Like a Memory. And Promises. Not too familiar with either of those. All right. Christopher Cross with Spinning. And Say You'll Be Mine. Not too familiar with either of those. We're going to have to check those out. There's Terry Gibbs. Somebody's knocking. And some days it rains all night long. Not familiar with that one either. That's what happens with these mystery packs. A lot of dust in here. Man. All right. Jesse Winchester, if I only. And Say What. Let's get, a, let's get one of the... Jukebox cards, too. We got the Doobie Brothers. All right, here we go. One Step Closer and South Bay Strut. All right. Oh, what we got? Sheena Easton. Sheena Easton, Modern Girl with Summer's Over. A receipt for Zares. <laughs> Sweet. All right, James Taylor, Up on the Roof, on both sides, Up on the Roof. All right, Leo Sayer, Leo Sayer, Leo Sayer, Millionaire, and more than I can say, I don't know a lot about him, but everything I hear from him is uh, seems to be pretty fun, so that'll be fun to check out. Penny McLean, bam, one, two, three, four, fire, and Lady Bump, all right. Stevie Wonder with the Master Blaster dub. Oh, man. And with the Master Blaster jamming. B-side with the dub. Oh, man. This is this is the hit of the, uh, the pile, I think. Dr. Hook with Help Me Mama and Sexy Eyes. Oh, Beatles, Capitol Record, Penny Lane, Strawberry Fields Forever, 
B-side with Penny Lane on Capital Mono. Sweet, that's a nice one. And then, of course, Air Supply. The one that you love. Featuring. <laughs> oh, too much. Come on, that is... Nothing says rock and roll like this picture. This is some dangerous sex, drugs, and rock and roll right there. All right. All right, so I took my brand new 45s for a quick spin. And this is what we come up with. So in our mystery pack, there were 25 total records, mostly from 1980 and 1981. And this is how it panned out. So this stack, I think I'm getting rid of. I'm not too crazy about any of this stuff. Uh, Tommy James, You're So Easy to Love, and Halfway to Heaven. I don't even remember how it even was. I think it was country-ish. Not a fan. Uh, Christopher Cross, Say You'll Be Mine, and Spinning. Um, I don't know. It was lame. Sheena Easton, Modern Girl. Um, lame. Again, just lame. She's got a milk mustache. Look at that. Look at that milk mustache. Dionne Warwick, I Smiled Yesterday. And Don't Make Me Over. Eh, boring. Air Supply, the one that you love. I mean, you already know this one, and this one's pretty boring. I might keep it just for that. That picture, man, it is, it is something else. Alabama feels so right. That is just way too country for my taste. Penny McLean, Lady Bump. And one, two, three, four, fire. Not as good as I hoped it to be. Stevie Wonder, Lately. And If It's Magic. Eh, I wasn't too impressed with either of them. I kind of felt it was pretty lame. Again. And uh, Shaka Khan, Lover's Touch. And what you gonna do for me? Again, kind of boring and lame. So I think these are going. These ones I'm kind of on the fence with, so I may I may keep these, I may not. Some pretty good stuff here. Doobie Brothers, South Bay Strut. That was actually kind of a jam. That was kind of a jam. What was he on the other side? One Step Closer. That was pretty cool. That had uh, Michael McDonald, of course. Uh, Ray Parker Jr., A Woman Needs Love Just Like You Do. I actually did know this song. Uh, I think... I want to say I know it as a sample, but anyway, it's kind of a slow jam. It's kind of a jam. It's all right. Uh, Dr. Hook, Sexy Eyes. I actually knew this one, too. Uh, it's a pretty good tune. I might keep this. Uh, Leo Sayer, More Than I Can Say. I knew this one, too. Uh, it's all right. Terry Gibbs, Somebody's Knocking. I actually kind of dug this. This was kind of a country feel, but... I don't know, I kind of dug it. Barbara Streisand Promises. I was kind of surprised. This sort of had like a funky disco sort of vibe to it. It was, it was okay, I guess. Uh, Billy and the Beaters. So it wasn't the other one, but Corner of the Night. Kind of a bluesy, funky, soulful jam. I don't know. It was okay. Jesse Winchester, Say What? That was kind of a neat little song. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, really. James Taylor, Up on the Roof. I knew the song. I knew it was a cover. And uh, I didn't realize last time, mono and stereo. But uh, pretty good tool. Pretty um, pretty good tune. He does a pretty good version of it. <clears throat> Beach Boys, Barbara Ann. This is definitely a, a different version of it than the single that everybody's used to. Um, it's a pretty fun one. I mean, there's a lot of laughing and goofing around, and it's definitely a B-side. I mean, uh, or should I say alternate take. Uh, the B-side happens to be Little Honda. But uh, this Barbara Ann, it's interesting. It is interesting, but it's definitely not the single that we all know and recognize. And John Cougar, Ain't Even Done With The Night. I guess I thought I liked the song better by when I thought of the chorus than... I do. I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, this line is pretty badass. So that's for sure. I may keep it just for that. Then we got our jams. We got our jams. So I figured there's five Stone Cold jams out of this. Uh, and out of 25, that's a pretty good percentage. 20%? 
That's pretty that's pretty darn good. Especially for the price, man. This was this was this was a home run. Lover boy, turn me loose. So good. So good. I'm used to the, the full on five minute version. This is obviously the single, so it's three and a half minutes, but man, it still rocks so hard. Uh Beatles, Strawberry Fields Forever, and Penny Lane, it sounds so good on record. And uh pretty good, pretty good copy. Tom Petty Refugee, you know it's a jam. Not crazy about the other side. My furnace is kicking on, I gotta continue in a minute. All right, we're back. So yeah, Refugee Jam, it's raining again, meh, but Refugee Jam. Rolling Stones, She's So Cold. Now that is a jam. And the other side, send it to me. That's a jam too, a little reggae number. Well, a little reggae vibe. This is a jam, double jam. And then Stevie Wonder, Master Blaster jamming. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great copy too. And the other side with the dub, man, that is the winner. So great one, great mix. Great little bundle. Shout out to That's Entertainment. That's E. Park Ave, Worcester, Massachusetts. You guys are the best. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there. Peace.